There are a ton of text-to-speech voice platforms out there, places where you can generate AI voices, type in your text, and it speaks for you. There's some really popular ones like Eleven Labs, Murph, and PlayHT. But what about the rest? In this video, I want to take a look at some of the ones we don't hear about all the time and see how they do and what they have to offer. Let's go. All right, first up here, I have VoiceOver Maker, all one word, VoiceOver Maker. Something that's interesting to me about VoiceOver Maker is their pricing strategy. So instead of having a monthly subscription or an annual subscription, you're just buying what you need. So free of charge, you get 800 characters per month, which is not very much, and that's for personal use only. If there's about five characters per word on average and 800 characters, so that's about 160 words if my math is accurate, and that is for personal use only. So you wouldn't be able to use that in commercial projects or videos or things that you're gonna publish out there. Their standard plan, uh, this is priced in Euro and for 10 euro, one-time fee, not locked in every month, you can get 60,000 characters and all the functionality and it's allowed for commercial use. One of the benefits of this pricing model, unlike the monthly subscription is, you pay a monthly subscription, say you're paying 10 bucks a month and you get 60,000 characters. And halfway through the month, you run out of your 60,000 characters, you've used them all up, and now you have to wait before you can do anything else until the next month comes around and you get reset. With this, if you use all your 60,000 characters in 15 days, you can just spend 10 your own and get 60,000 more. Or, if you're not using it that much, and these 60,000 characters will last you for two, three months, cool, no problem. So there's some benefits there. Now let's take a listen to some of their voices and see what they sound like. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. This is an example. It shows you how this voice sounds. The voices sound pretty good. They're clear. They seem to be pronouncing okay. Now keep in mind, we're just using their sample audio here, so we didn't give it any hard words to try and pronounce, or to try and see how it sounds with our project. So the way that these voices are going to sound if they're doing a public service announcement versus if they're doing a promotional video or a reading an anime script or a scary story kind of thing, it may sound great doing some of those styles and it may sound just terrible trying to do other styles. So you always want to try out a platform you're considering with a script from one of your own projects to see if it really gels. They do have lots of languages here from Arabic all the way down to Vietnamese. Now let's look at Uberduck. I mean the name's cool so the product's got to be cool too, right? Let's see what they have in the way of voices here. This is some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. Eh, not so much. This is some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. A little robotic. This is some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. And there's some, some artifact this in This is too. some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. This is some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not saying I'd eat a squirrel if I caught one, but they do look pretty tasty. <laughs> For the last time, I'm not giving you a piggyback. It's undignified. Ooh, undignified. We don't like that. My mom says my braces make me look smart. What am I going to do? I think I'm lost. The birthday cake is going to melt and Wendy will be so very cross with me. I ain't being animated. Interesting characters here. Treads in my pocket, studs in my eyes. On my way to the party, left on bubblegum lane, around the corner, and which way was it again? Stop posting about a manga, I'm tired of seeing it. All right, we've got some rappers in here. Definitely don't see that kind of thing in every platform. I'm just looking at the characters because those voices are sounding pretty interesting. Oh, hey, bro, or should I say, bro? Hope you're having a good day. Me and the boys were gonna go down to the shops and get a sausage roll. Did you wanna come with? Hi, and I saw Tia Majaribio. Natumani Anapenda in a Hopefully, somebody knows what that is. It's not English. This is some test audio. I hope you like how it sounds. All right, so there's our quick look at Rubber Duck. And if you wanna generate, you do have to sign up first. You can only listen to the sample voices. If you wanna generate, Sign up, type your text in here, off to the races you go. 
They also have voice to voice where you can pick one of these voices, upload your audio of voice or record it right here and convert it into one of their AI voices. Pricing at UberDuck, free, $0 forever, non-commercial use. You do get access to the private voices. You get 300 render credits per month and one render credit is one second of audio. Well, that works out to about five minutes total. Uh, if you end up having to regenerate something, of course, that's going to cut into your five minutes. The creator from $96 a year includes commercial use and you get 3,600 render credits per month. Now that's if you pay annually. If you want to go monthly, it's $9.99 a month. Voicemaker for all the perfectionists and control freaks out there like me. You want to pay attention to this one. The voicemaker has lots and lots of voices. You can choose between standard text-to-speech models. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text. And they sound pretty robotic. But the neural text-to-speech models are quite a bit better. When you see this purple E, that means they have different effects available. So this Joni dude, he can be whispering, shouting, hopeful, friendly, happy, all these different things. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. And the way things seem to be working over here on VoiceMaker, the different models, AI1, AI2, AI3, the higher this number, the more recent it seems like the model is. Speak good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. Why is it that when one man builds a wall, the next man is immediately curious to know what's on the other side? Yeah, so there's a little bit of garble artifact in there. It seems like the maybe the most recent model isn't necessarily going to have all the features. It seems like they improved the models, but bringing in some of these features comes later on after the fact. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. So these AI3s are sounding pretty good. Let's check out one or two of the fours. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. Eh. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. Kind of dramatic, and I don't know what hash code is. What's this about? Speak good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. Why is it that when one man builds a wall, the next man is immediately curious to know what's on the other side? Huh. Speak good afternoon. I am capable of- Just so angry. Speak good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. Speak good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. Some of them sound pretty good, actually. The AI3 voices probably sound the, the best and the most fine-tuned, and they happen to be the ones that, for the most part, offer the different effects so that you can choose a different, uh, different emotion. We're going to close out of that because there's something else pretty important that I want to show you here. Let's drop in some text here. We will hit Convert to Speech. Welcome to the Toolbox, where I maintain a list of creator tools so you can find what you need with no nonsense. That did a pretty good job of picking up on the exclamation here and getting a little bit more exclamatory on the no-nonsense. Something with VoiceMaker that's pretty darn cool is that you can adjust just about anything. So if I want to take this no-nonsense, I can just select it here and say emphasis and make it strong. Notice it'll wrap that in some little tags. And since this one offers voice effects, we can do that too. I'm gonna grab this whole thing, select the whole thing, say voice effect, let's say maybe happy. Okay, and it wraps the whole thing in happy. And then if we wanted to speed him up, we want him to talk faster or slower, we can change that. We can also change the pitch if we want it to be deeper or higher. We can do the volume. We could have him talk louder. Wonder if we can do, let's see, we'll select a U, make the volume for that kind of loud. Ah, looky there. So it's just gonna make that one word louder. This ought to be really interesting. If I wanna pause, I can do that here. Pauses, make that a half a second. And then we don't have any reason to use say as, but this is pretty handy. If you have something in there that's a date, a time, an address, a telephone number, you want it to spell out or an expletive, characters, digits, or fractions, you can tag a word or tag a string of text here and tell it, for instance, this is a date so that it doesn't read out 1962 as 1,962. All right, let's convert this. This ought to be interesting. Welcome to the toolbox, 
where I maintain a list of creator tools so you can find what you need with no nonsense. That was pretty cool. I didn't really pick up on a change in this volume here, but it was really interesting the way that came out. So for the control freak perfectionist like me that want to be able to edit every word and fix it without having to just keep clicking regenerate, this is a pretty cool tool. And of course you can come over here and adjust for the entire generation. You can adjust the speed or the pitch or the volume for the whole thing. And over here you can do it word by word. Instead of selecting the whole thing and clicking on voice effect and happy, I could have gone to voice effects over here and selected happy from within these checkboxes. Pricing for voice maker, uh, free, I get you 250 characters per conversion. That's not much, maybe 50 words or so. Limited converts, it doesn't tell you how limited those are. So I don't know how many you get. You do get 750 voices, 120 different languages. And if you use these voices in your YouTube videos, you need to credit VoiceMaker in your description. Basic at five bucks a month gets you 3,000 characters per conversion. That's each time you generate and 200,000 characters per month. So if you want to get more voices, premium at 10 bucks a month is where you'll find the AI3 and AI4 voices, which sounded like the the better better sounding to me, particularly those AI3s, I think it was. Looks like they have a pack down here for audiobook and podcast where you can get up to 100,000 characters per conversion and a million characters per year. Uh, this is pretty interesting. I don't know if this is an add-on to paid plans or something that you can just buy separately. And then it looks like they also have where you can clone a voice using your two hours of sample. No price for that. So that has been Voice Maker. Now let's move on. We have Typecast. Something that intrigued me about this one is it, it refers to these as characters. So you're sort of setting up a cast of characters here and then you can have them have a conversation. So let's go look at some of the characters because they're pretty neat. Instead of just a name, they give you a cartoon, a picture, an avatar, whatever you want to call it. It makes it easier to associate the voice with the whatever its name is. A lot easier to recognize. Let's hear a few of these voices. In the quietude of the ancient library, Professor Evelyn Hartley uncovered a mysterious tome, its pages worn with time. As she traced the text, the air filled with the scent of aged parchment. So he'd be really good for storytelling. I've traversed through the fabric of time to find the chosen one. But first, a cup of tea would be splendid. Good character. I was trained to battle the forces of darkness, not to decipher the ways of the pedestrian cr Sounds like a video game to me. You taught me about life, taught me about grace. With a pot and a pan, you painted our place. In the recipes you let, I still see your face. Now... We need some better music behind him, but we've got a rapper there. Every step takes me closer to justice. Hey there, I'm new on campus, and I'm not... Well, what a weather. Sunny sky and a gentle breeze. It's perfect to hit the skate park. Okay. My research studies the complexities of genetic mechanisms. I've got beats in my heart and rhymes in my soul. I'm hustling... What was the name of the beer that you wanted? There's a brewery around the corner that opened up just last week. I'm so thrilled about my summer trip to Hawaii. I haven't had a chance to travel last year because I was so swarmed with work. Any of these that you want to use, you just click them and it adds them over here to your cast. If you want to take somebody out of your cast, you can just hit this minus button. This is Catalina reporting live from the scene of a devastating tornado. When you've got your cast put together, you hit proceed, you come back in type your script and convert. Same thing I just have in my clipboard still. Emotion, normal or happy, click play and it'll generate. Welcome to the toolbox, where I maintain a list of creator tools so you can find what you need with no nonsense. That's not your typical AI voice. It's definitely got a certain accent to it, dialect, whatever you want to call it. Pricing at Typecast, the free version is for individual users, gives you five minutes of monthly download time. Basic at $9 a month or $96 a year, you get 60 minutes of monthly download time, all the characters, and you can import text files and even files from spreadsheets and PDFs. At $33 a month, that's where you can add uh, custom voice 
voices, get some detailed speech control, and high quality audio and video downloads. And by audio quality, normal is at 16K and high in the pro plan and above is at 44.1K. And that has been typecast.